There we go. Okay, so we have a nice arch entrance going hallway down into another room potentially. That is pretty awesome. I like that. That looks nice and it's just the right size. It's actually not too small, not too narrow, and it's the right height to sink as well. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Kenzo Kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days Today, where we're continuing with War of the Walkers. I know we only had War of the Walkers yesterday. It was Starvation's turn, but I forgot to update it and I updated it and took forever to update. And it was about two thirds complete and I stopped the sinking and I thought it would revert back to what I had before, but it didn't. So it says it wasn't completely downloading the mod, so I'm gonna have to let, let the update run overnight because it just takes too long. So, um, for what I had in mind. <laughs> so we're gonna play War of the Walkers. We finished the Horde Knight. It was actually pretty okay, the Horde Knight. It's not as strong, obviously, like as you want it to be, but it was still fun. We had a constant stream of zombies coming in, and at about quarter to three, uh, we got another bit of a push like from the horde coming in which was really nice like especially if you have some fun guns it can be fun anyway we're going back to the base we're going to transfer some things over and we're going to continue working on that base um over in the yonder anyway i hope you guys are going to have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started now what would be good today is if we can kind of semi decide where the rooms are gonna go and how the rooms are gonna be laid out because we definitely need a workroom we need a kitchen area for the food and we need kind of a storage area where we're gonna dump everything like the clothes and all that stuff that we find because we like to hoard things you know so hey oh whoa we're gonna have to put a room like where we put the heads of the NPCs we're gonna kill as well they keep shooting at us anyway look at this I missed you base I missed you base look at this and for the next horde night it would be good if we can actually use this space, that would be really epic. Now, let me see here. Whoop, we have so many resources around here, which is really, really nice. So that's our little side entrance here. The zombies can't use it, which is fine. We can use it though, which is great. And we're gonna need to make more iron um, bars. Now, one of the things that we did on the stream, which actually was really cool, was we you can't really take the exact center okay so it's gonna be a bit offset and yeah i know my ocd is gonna kill me about that as well i don't really have ocd i just get ocd when it comes to seven days to die but we're gonna have to go and probably pick this guy here i think it was this guy one two yeah this here is what we're gonna take out and okay i have to get my tools this is the guy we're gonna take out we're gonna put a hatch in it because you guys had that amazing idea actually in the in the comments of the video before the last video okay i'm just getting confusing you guys in the comments had like the great idea to take that out and put a hatch in it and the good thing is that a hatch like the vault hatch for example yeah is well we don't have to go that high but even a basic scrap hatch is 320 max load and a mass of 20 which means if we actually do the scrap hatch you can see it here yeah, just type in hatch and just get over and done with scrap iron hatch. Ah, yeah, balls. Why can't I craft it? Because I haven't learned it. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. Press the whole activate combination of lockers. That is nonsense. Why do we not know how to make a scrap hatch? That is just redonkulous. Okay, let me just see here. This is just sounds like really wrong. Scrap iron armor, scrap iron construction, which, oh my dear lord, there's nothing there for scrap hatches. Where's the hatches? Where's the hatches? scrap scrap hatch there we go oh my god it actually is a separate so you need five points to learn the scrap hatch but you can make a wooden hatch and upgrade it to scrap so why do i bother le learning this of course i'm not going to learn this this is ridiculous so um it's five points i can save myself by just not making a scrap hatch and making a wooden one and upgrade it i don't care about the resources anyway um it's very funny that um i get mixed up between what i have on the stream <laughs> Co compared to oh there's my spanner i was looking for it compared to what i have here because on the stream we actually got a little bit further and we started putting all the stations down i was like oh where are they all gone it's funny when you mix up all the mods but anyway it looks good it looks good it seems our um we're looking stable look at that we got a stable frame rate now it should be higher than that but that's just the way the game is and we are doing well it is doing well it's not as lucky as i thought it would be and um, with the base this size because of all the blocks it has but let's get down to business and let's put the base frames let's take them we're gonna take these guys and we're going to make a forge room we're gonna make a room which we're gonna use to um to burn everything down you know all that stuff and then we're gonna have probably adjacent to it the room with all the workbenches because it makes sense i don't want them in the same room but it makes sense to have them close enough that you don't have to run like a blue ass fly around so the best thing is to use a well it's a square the long side <laughs> so let me see we also can expand the base so we are not really too worried about um running out of space because all we really need to do 
is... Ah! Okay, we didn't break a leg. That is awesome. Did we break a leg? Sprained leg. Ah, holy balls. Okay, we have something for that at home, so I'm not really too worried about it. But um, we can just go out another one, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna go out another five blocks if we want to. And... Well, we have the base here. If we're gonna go out and continue building the base, I suppose we should do it with this in mind. That actually would make sense. Oh, yes. That would make a lot of sense. We build on top of these tunnels and we just make the tunnels longer. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes. So, because these are exactly five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, my dear Lord, it's six. It hurts in the eyes when it's even numbers. Okay, so we're gonna do that and use those as the next weight load bearing things that would be pretty awesome i think yeah we should try that out we definitely should try that out we only have the one that actually heals a broken leg and uh it, it heals a sprained leg too but you know what we have to make it worth it so um yeah hey now it was worth it you, you can't just do that on a sprained leg it feels like such a waste you kind of feel like no no it's not worth it on a sprained leg we, we're going to have to do it on a broken leg so we break the leg that's great. Can you imagine the attitude it would be the one of doctors where they get you and say, Ah, oh, you only have a fractured leg. It really is not worth our time. Let's break it and let's make it worth the trip. That's exactly how it should be. No, <laughs> no it shouldn't. <laughs> okay, so let's go down here and um, let's see how that would look like. I'm not sure that would be strong enough, but we'll see. So if we would do this. Now, I'm only doing that for my own safety in the moment. Okay, let me see. This see, we can't reach this now. Oh no 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 no, we can't reach this. That was weird. Let's go here. Which means we probably should upgrade these guys here that are connecting to the load bearings the top of each load bearing probably should be upgraded to steel um, because these guys here don't hold 320 miles like so which means yeah all these connectors like this one and whatever this one probably and wherever all the other ones are the ones here these guys and this, they should all be upgraded to steel because they're going to be carrying all the weight. So we actually, do we have any steel on us? That would be pretty awesome. Uh, we only have 20 steel. Okay, we're going to have to get the forges up and running. Okay, let me get sorted. We're going to do a couple of things and uh, I'm going to get organized where I'm going to put everything. Okay, I, I couldn't I couldn't resist. Okay, we can't, we can't, we cannot, cannot have six spaces. Okay, there is six spaces because originally we did need the drawbridge, but we're actually going to fix that as well. So these guys are going to be five because look, 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 we are are going to add another block end of story we're going to add it yeah and it's gonna be five and it's gonna go all the way straight through we don't really care and we're still going to be able to have all the iron bars here so nothing changes yeah it's just that we are going to build one block beside it and that's it end of story and um you still it still looks good i mean it still looks okay so there you go look at this and then here we have load bearing as well and then we can put another five out and that's it so we're gonna make this nicely streamlined no problem at all whatsoever and it still will look good well that's what i'm telling myself anyway so um here we go we're gonna put a hatch in here yeah but it's gonna go upside down and it's going to face all in the same direction so i don't know which way we're gonna put it in let's put it in end of story so let's see where it opens there we go look at that nice and we can just aim at it and we can close it again come on come on Okay, and this will allow us, just like you guys suggested, when we're fighting the zombies here, go whatever, we can throw the pipe bombs down, we can throw the Molotov cocktails down, it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna do that on every single one. So here, we're gonna do that as well. Um, one, two, there you go. This is the one we're gonna take, oh, 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 which one are we gonna take out now? I hit the wrong one. Oh my god, I'm getting confuzzled. One, two, bam. So we're gonna go the same one, one, one two is that it yeah one two yeah okay yeah we count the one between the pillars one two and then no that's not it it's the next one genie marker balls okay we're gonna have to repair this one which probably will take um reinforced yeah we should be okay to repair it so let's do that there we go can we actually upgrade it as well no we can't okay so now 
Oh, now we're going to copy that. We're going to go to these. Say copy rotation. Bam, 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 bam. Because it will be exactly the same then. We don't have to constantly worry about testing it. There you go. Very nice. I like it. And now we're going to upgrade it to that. I don't want to upgrade it to anything higher than that. Um, well, I think we can upgrade it one more time. And we have no steel on us. So we should be able to... Excellent. That's the maximum I want to have. Because I want it still to be very nice and fast. But yet still have the uh, sturd strength. You know, like so that a cop that spits on it. It's not going to completely destroy it in one go. So this is really, really good. I like it. Look at this. We're walking in. Bam. And here we go. Nice. Very happy about that. And here we're just going to leave the ladder in for the moment. I'm not really too fussed about that. Okay, there's something I want to try out. I don't want to just use square blocks, okay? And I don't definitely don't want to use uh, um, Reba. So we, we're going to build something nice, yeah? Now, I don't like the full blocks, and then we're going to put the bench here and all that. You know, that's nice. I was wondering, how does it look if we use half blocks on the side? There we go. Okay. Now, of course, when you build that, when you place anything in front of it, it will go here. But that's just a gap. That's fine. I mean, most of the things, like you know, that, that we put down, maybe have a nice little gap. Can we walk behind it? No, we can't. But that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. You know, I mean, I, I don't personally, so it's fine. But um, this is what kind of annoys me. I'm not sure what to put here in the corners because if we put a uh, wood block down. That will probably bother me. So I'm not quite sold yet on that idea because of that. And there is no... What we really need in this game, and that's a new block type, obviously, that I don't think we have yet, is an angular block type. We need an angular block type for half blocks, okay? That's something that has to exist. It just needs to be there. But um, I don't think we have anything like it yet. The closest we have is the arch, I think. So if we look at the arch... I think that will be the closest that might look good, but I'm not 100% certain on that as well. So let's see here. Yeah, I'm not sold on that because, again, that is too thin. So we need something like the arch, arch but it needs to be a proper 90 degree angle. It's This, this just does not feel right. It, ah, no. It's that, oh, no, 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 this is awful. So I'm a little bit lost on that, and that's why I'm probably going to end up with full blocks, but it's a pity because I really would love to use half blocks because it just makes things look bigger. It makes the rooms look bigger without actually making them bigger, and that is really great. But I haven't found a block yet that we can use that kind of fits in and fills that gap. Maybe a ramp, I'm not sure. Let me see. Nah, definitely not. The other way around. Let me see what it looks like the other way around. Nah, that's just, again, it's, it, it just does not work. Ah, Genie Max, nothing I can do about it. So, um, yeah, we probably won't be using half blocks then because of that reason. But uh, let me know in the comments section if you have worked with different type of blocks, you know, for walls and for your buildings. And if you have screenshots of it, you know, img.ur or whatever it's called, you know, just post them. And I'm gonna have a look at them because I, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm running out of ideas. Um, anything that's not using a square block. Okay, I think I'm gonna just use wood up there. And then we can paint it, which is gonna be great. Because there's, like, uh, I think the paint changes the actual texture as well so it won't look like actual wood painted as something else i think it feels so if we paint it like um i think um the adobe white i love the adobe white oh my god this is so loud it's like for whatever reason i think they had a stealth update or something something happened either actually either the game updated or um one of the drivers or something like in, in the last windows update it is so loud everything I mean, the trees are just obnoxiously loud since um, a couple of... Um, they were never that loud. I don't remember them being that loud. A couple of videos ago, they started being really loud. 
I don't know. Maybe it's just in my headphone. Maybe there was an update in my headphone uh, driver just updated and it's louder now. And uh, to you guys, it sounds so different. I have no idea. I'm running on Windows 10, like, so I wouldn't put it past it if Windows 10 had an update and everything just went, like, up, you know? There we go. Okay, I think we have enough wood now. Nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so... I'm, I know where I'm going to put all my workbenches. I know where I'm going to put my forges. The forges are going to go up now. Then we're going to go back to the other base. We're going to bring all the stuff over of all the other workbenches. I think I'm already queued everything up to be emptied. Um, I think. But we'll see. Yeah, we're going to have to make a proper entrance. I have to make... I don't know. This is actually a good enough entrance. I like that. You know, it's like very awkward for the zombies, but it's really good for us. So I had to put this down because it was playing around with windows and um, the white windows that you get as a quest reward, they actually don't look as good. I don't like them. I'll show them to you in a second when I know where I'm going to put the windows. But what we're going to do here is we're probably going to have like a double door or something like so. Uh, we're going to leave this open. We're going to put an arc in and that's where we can walk through this is definitely going to be one of those things and actually this one here we still have to upgrade that to steel actually let me upgrade that to steel now because i have 20 steel there we go there we go one boom and that's it and we can paint over it later on if we need to that's absolutely fine so let's um you probably won't even see it like um unless you're on the outside whoops so this is going to be an arch. I think it's going to have to be at least four high. And there we go. One, two. And then we're going to put the arch on top of it. So if we're going to take the arch now. Arch. Um, yeah, I may have crafted a couple of concrete blocks in preparation for half walls, but... That didn't become a thing. So I'm just trying to destroy them now. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. If we put the arch here. No, that's not the arch. Go away. There. Yeah, I think that's high enough. Or is that? No, that's too low. I want it higher. I want it like this. And then we're going to have another block on top. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not a thing. There we go. Okay, so we have a nice arch entrance going hallway down into another room potentially. That is pretty awesome. I like that. That looks nice and it's just the right size. It's actually not too small, not too narrow and it's the right height to sink as well. And then here we can have a top floor or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But that means that the windows are going to be... Uh, we're not going to have a window straight away here. We're going to probably have one right, right here. Look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Three-piece window. That's going to be absolutely awesome. There we go. A nice bay window. Now, let's try out the white um, windows, guys. And <laughs> let's have a look at them. So, we're going to make six of those. And then we're going to make six of those. There we go. Let's upgrade all these blocks first. We actually have to upgrade this here to steel as well, so we're gonna have to be careful about that. And yeah, might as well just upgrade these. Look at that, looking nice. I love these arch blocks. They were really, really nice addition to the game as well. Look at this. Now, we're gonna have a bay window here because I'm assuming that we might have a hallway. Actually, that would be awesome. We're not gonna have a room straight away here. We're gonna have a hallway, put some pictures on, a couple of plants, a little bit of a sofa. Oh man, this is gonna be the chill hallway, you know, where we have a TV maybe on the wall on the other side. Can we make TVs in this mod? No, I don't know. Maybe we can loot one. There's a couple of lootable ones, I think. Now, this is the window that we have. Can we make it an outside window? Can we make it an outside window or can it only be rotated? Let me see. Can it go to the outside? No, it can't. 
That is terrible. Windows need to be able to go to the outside, not just centered. Okay, we're just gonna def definitely need to do this. And no, it doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. It only goes centered. That's terrible. <laughs> I want my windows out. Out, out. And then I want to put my own fake windowsills under it. Oh, man. That sucks donkey balls. Okay, so we're gonna take the white one. Come on. There we go. And that is what that looks like. I don't like that it's all bars. We need, um, you know the way that how they have the um, the railings? That when you put two railings beside each other, they merge into one big railing. They need to do that with the windows. Devs, that's one thing. Windows. We need to have dynamic, I think they call it dynamic blocks. We need to have dynamic windows, okay? If we put three windows around, we need to have them glass, 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 glass all in the middle and only have the frame on the outside. That needs to become a thing for the guys who like to build bases. Absolutely needs to, it's a must. It's a must have. But um, yeah, anyway, we're going to see what this window looks like now as well. And then we're going to make our mind up. We're going to put this design actually on the other side here. And then we're going to have a look at what that looks like. Here we go. You see, this is the, this, this is the problem I have now. I really prefer the white frame. Or the dirty white frame. Yeah, I really prefer that. But I prefer, because the bars are everywhere, I prefer this pattern. Because this pattern suits more when you have individual paints. Meanwhile, this pattern here looks wrong. It, it just looks like six windows. Meanwhile, this you could potentially see, yeah, it's one big window. It, because of the crosses in the glass, it seems to be flowing better but we still dynamic windows is the best answer yeah so i don't like the white windows i'm not a big fan i think the white windows are good when you have a little um when, when you have a toilet room where you have just like one little square window like you know the way they do that they have like big windows everywhere in the house but the one place that you're gonna stink up like absolutely bananas they put a tiny little window there because they say no you don't need to have fresh air there just a little bit just enough for not to, for people not to die when they come in that is pretty much enough so let's put this guy in here and we're going to have to make paint and then I want to make these walls white, Adobe white. I love white. I love in this game Adobe white. I used to build Adobe blocks all the time in Valmod. It's absolutely one of my favorite surfaces. It's Adobe white and marble, the, the shiny marble surface that the kitchen uh, uh, t uh, tops have um, in this game. Absolutely fantastic. Love them for flooring, like, you know, I have like a hotel floor. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Anyway, so this is looking good. I like that. So this is going to be our um, whatever. I don't have, I have my mind up, but this is where all our forges are gonna go so i'm just gonna put this down here so we know where the wall is gonna go there we go now if we happen to decide to make also a hallway here which we don't have to we don't have to we can just make a hallway here and a hallway on the other end or a hallway here make an l shape you know it doesn't really matter um but just in case it's one two three four five six so one two three four five six oh my god it's a set of even numbers again and then here we go so Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. No, it's actually five. And then we have the block. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Bam. That's it. So this is where we have the, the separation if we're going to care about that. So let's get the forges. Let's get the rest of those benches actually as well. There we go. I don't like putting things in the corner because I'm going to put my, um, so let me see. Oh, this would be awesome. So one, two, three. And if we have the windows here as well, oh yes, we're going to make another forge and then we're going to have six forges right there. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So we're going to have one here and one here. And another one here and then we can make the windows also on this side oh this is going to be awesome there you go look at that nice and we're gonna get six more windows And we're slowly getting shape. This is cool. 
Let's upgrade this first. There we go, nice. And then here we can put some storage to, uh, storage for, uh, containers. So we have some nails, we have wood. Let's make a couple of storage containers. Let's make three for now, okay? Ah, yeah, genie balls. We can't even do that. Okay, storage. Give me storage. Yes, five points. There is that is something I can see myself spending points on because chests just look ugly. There, I think the chests are as big as the generic storage, so it's not really that that's the issue. It's just that they look so ugly. The chests, like you know, to have them everywhere. They're handy to have them on the ceiling somewhere, on the wall somewhere, you know, nicely beside each other where you're grinding a lot of resources, you know. But this here has to be a thing. There we go. Look at that. Nice. That is awesome. Excellent stuff. And we're going to get one more forge going. And then this is our forge area done. That's where we're going to put like stone, metal, whatever. We're going to we're gonna divide it all up and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And um, then here we can put more storage in if you want to or just some decorative stuff. Maybe a chair, you know, maybe a plant, you know, something to make it look nice. I don't know. Whatever will go into a working area like that. And then over here we're going to have all the workbenches. So if we're going to look at what other workbenches we have... We have the armor smithing and the advanced tool workbench, and this is the wood workbench. So I think they should just be all beside each other. So if we have this, this is going to be 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so 2-2, two, two. and then we're going to start here. So 1 in, that makes sense. Okay, and then we have this one here. There we go. Nice. And then we're going to have a normal workbench here. Or actually, we're going to make all of these workbenches normal workbenches. We're going to make this a bigger room. And we can maybe put another six forges over here. So this would be really awesome. So we have the forges divided. We have the workbenches divided. Or we're just going to put normal workbenches over here. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm going to leave this episode here. That was enough waffle and design choice. I hope you're not bored. like Because I know a lot of you like the building and like the whole thing that goes into building the base so i hope you guys like the look of it i hope you have plenty of ideas yourself that you want to share in the comments below if you have any screenshots like i said that you want to explain certain designs absolutely go ahead now um vanilla blocks obviously i prefer it because i don't i can't add more blocks i could but it's gonna be a hassle like i don't want to add more custom blocks to, blocks to this than exist already so we're gonna have to make due with what we have but painting is gonna be the key to all this you know our paint we're gonna have to make some paint and get a paintbrush to get this done but anyway I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Okay, so I already made a lot of claw hammers. We're going to make some forged iron. And then we're going to make four wrenches. And then we're going to put four workbenches, normal workbenches over here. Now, I'm going to put all these exits on all sides. But I will not actually make a hallway into all of them. Like, the hallway into the next rooms will go over here. And maybe over there. I don't want it to go straight. I want to go into the L shape. That would be pretty awesome. And and what we do here is we're gonna have a long balcony going all the way um, from the top here, all the way across. So we're going to put railings here on top, and then connect them to other railings here. And then hopefully we can go about three out, and we put a whole balcony thing all the way around to this side here. And it can go all the way around to this side here. And it can then, with a little door here on the side, join into the hallway. I think it would be absolutely awesome. So it goes actually all the way around the balcony, but it will have different designs in different corners. So it's not just balcony, balcony. It will be like a room, a hallway that joins into the balcony. I think that would look pretty well. <sighs> Well, of course, we're going to have to try it all out. So um, why are you complaining again, lady? Okay, you're getting too hot. That's fair enough. No problem. So uh, let's put the windows in. We have actually three more blocks here to put in. That's a bit high. And let's put the windows here in as well. Very good. I like it. So this is taking shape, guys. This is taking shape. It's nice. I like it. 
and the iron bars below will prevent zombies from climbing up so that that will be a non-issue why did i make two because i already prepared for this wall here which i haven't made yet okay that's fine so look at this this is awesome we're gonna paint these guys as well and loads of storage loads of storage around here and these guys are burning loads and loads of iron and clay they all have about the same amount in that should be getting us some screamers very shortly as well oh my dear lord can we actually stand exactly on top of this that is awesome excellent stuff look at this this is looking good 